reports the number of adults in America diagnosed with diabetes has more than doubled over the last two decades. Doctors say obesity is a contributing factor. CBS 8's Abby Black explains how an old diabetes drug may be brought back thanks to a discovery made by local researchers. Here at the UC San Diego Stein Clinical Research Building is where scientists resurrected an old drug that was used to treat type 2 diabetes without the unwanted side effects. A breakthrough in treating insulin resistant disorders such as type 2 diabetes has been discovered inside the Olevsky lab at UC San Diego. This is the first one that's really come up that has, you know, some really cachet to it. Dr. Gerald Olevsky, a renowned medical professor at UC San Diego, says to understand insulin sensitizers, let's take you back to the 90s and early 2000s when thiazola dindionis or TZDs were used to treat diabetes, liver disorders, and the infertility disorder known as PCOS. They cause weight gain. You, that's not what you want. And they cause fluid retention and edema. You don't want that either. So because of these side effects, they have gone quite a bit out of favor. The FDA took many TZDs off the market and drugs like Metaform replaced medicines to treat diabetes, but Olevsky and his team did not forget about the older drugs. If you go back to when they were discovered, we never really understood how they work. This was important to look at. The CDC reports 40% of adult Americans are obese and most of them are diabetic. And this was like... Okay, I think we found something. Using a complicated scientific method, Olevsky and his team of researchers were able to isolate the positive and negative effects from a popular TZD drug. The exosomes don't have those side effects. So they don't cause body weight gain and they don't cause fluid retention. And those are the two main reasons why the other drugs are not being used. So we can avoid at least those side effects and still retain all the beneficial effects, the metabolic beneficial effects. Their study was recently published in Nature Metabolism. It's early days, it's preclinical studies, you know, when it gets into humans. Olevsky hopes that this type of microRNA therapy that's being used in cancer research can also provide a therapeutic path to treat diabetes. The ultimate goal is if you could produce something that leads to a drug that treats humans, okay, you've done it, you've done it. At UC San Diego, Abby Black, CBS 8.